the upcoming parliament elections, uh, we uh, we are planning to deploy around 5,000 uh, uh, observers. At the moment, we are having some training for uh, counting uh, observers also. Uh, we will deploy around 250 uh, uh, counting of observers uh, based on the Elections Commission's uh, uh, request. And uh, we have given a special attention in this election uh, uh, on uh, women, the candidate. We have requested most of the political parties to send their women's candidates information. And uh, we are working on that. Not only the election period, even after the elections, we, are, we will continually uh, work with this uh, women's candidate. And we, are, we, are, we are trying to identify the, the issues which they are facing, the problem which they are facing, and uh, settle uh, in between the elections and also uh, after the elections. We wanted to uh, strengthen the women's participation in Sri Lanka. Uh, and also, uh, we have established a special team to observe uh, the uh, social media. So, every day we are getting this information from this group. Uh, we call it hashtag generation, the youth group. So, they are, they are sending their report uh, daily basis. So after uh, revisiting uh, this uh, information, one of our lawyer, and we send it to the Elections Commission daily, and the Elections Commission will uh, send it to uh, the Facebook team. So that is the the mechanism which we have established. But unfortunately, uh, we we have reported in this election there's a lot of uh, misinformation, disinformations uh, are coming through this the social media. Uh, with regard to the elections, uh, violence and violations, of course, we are happy uh, with the situation compared with the past elections. Even though uh, the, the incidents uh, we have reported last two weeks are uh, a little uh, increase, uh, but uh, the violence uh, is reduced compared with the past elections. So we have already got only uh, 70 complaints uh, with regard to the violence, and there are only 18 cases uh, people were admitted to the hospital, and 32 people are in the hospital because of the violence uh, incident. The inter-party violence uh, on that, uh, there are only uh, 9 cases and in between the parties there are 14 cases we have reported. Uh, and also we wanted to emphasize the misuse of the government resources and the government power. Uh, again, uh, compared with the past elections, uh, this time it's a less number of cases we have reported, but there are some cases that uh, are uh, uh, influence uh, across the country for the whole the entire election process such as the, uh, uh, the graduate graduates appointment 50,000 graduate appointment and uh, 15,000 village program uh, and also uh, the COVID response program uh, during the uh, COVID period the uh, 5,000 uh, rupees has given each and every household where uh, people are affected that also use uh, uh, used for uh, political campaign unfortunately and most of the parties most of the candidates did not consider the covid guideline we have reported 288 cases uh, that the, the candidates are not following the uh, covid uh, regulations we are really worried about the uh, police uh, inaction in some areas we have identified putlam ambandota uh, and also kurnagal anuradhapura gaunia uh, there are a couple of other places kaludara not the entire district, but there are some uh, identified police areas. The police was not taken actions immediately. This is really unfortunate because the last uh, couple of elections we have we have noted that police uh, was quite active and they fully supported the elections commission and they were supported to prepare elections. But these elections we have identified some of these police stations. So we are going to prepare a report uh, to the IGP uh, on these uh, areas and we hope that the IGP will uh, take some actions on that.